Hey everybody, in the hierarchy of profanity or vulgarity or whatever word you want to use, the word crap's pretty low. It's probably not quite as bad as damn, but a little worse than the word hell, depending on the context. Now times have changed. When I was a kid, the word crap was higher on the list. It wasn't as bad as the S word was still... Okay, now for this video, I'm going to choose to censor the words that are considered hardcore profanity, like the word that starts with the... Here's my blog, Dysfunctional Literacy, and sometimes I do some... <laughs> I had a tough time pronouncing my own blog. It's called Dysfunctional Literacy. And sometimes I'm just spell out the bad words on my blog, depending on the context. I think in this particular blog post when I wrote this, crap's not a bad word, is crap a bad word? Um, I spelled out the word crap, partially to demonstrate that I didn't believe it's a bad word. And I also censored the other words because I wanted to separate crap from the hardcore bad words, one of which is the one that's spelled S-H-I-T. Now, I don't want to say bad words on my videos much, so I'm self-censoring, but saying S-word or spelling it out or F-word feels stupid because everybody knows what you're talking about, and if nobody knows what you're talking about, then what's the point of censoring it? So for the S-word, which I'll have to say a lot to compare it and contrast it with the word crap, I'll just say sheed. Because that's how some people say it. I won't throw in the extra e at, at the end, but you'll know what I'm talking about. And speaking of my blog, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and check out my blog, Dysfunctional Literacy. Now, she was what you said when you accidentally bonked your hand out against the cavity door. Crap was what you said when you forgot something but could easily go back and get it. Either way, I got my mouth washed out with soap. And looking back, getting punished for saying the word crap kind of ticks me off. See, kids today think the word crap means stuff or stuff of low quality, and I don't think they realize that crap, at least back then, was the kinder, gentler version of she. And when I tried to explain that to some friends of my kids, this was years ago, I tried to explain why crap was vulgar. I was the chaperone in a public place. I ended up engaged in like one of those really stupid circular arguments. You know, I, the, the, a friend of my daughter's was like, crap is a bad word? And she's saying it loudly in public, and I was saying, yes, because I was trying to explain it. It's a word that you should not say out loud in public. I say crap all the time. You know, she keeps saying, well, maybe you do. I try to explain it, but please don't say it around us. Why can't I say crap around you? And she, Ugh. Because crap is a mild form of profanity, and you're too young to say it. And then, you know, she kept looking perplexed. Like, Crap's a bad word? And I stop saying crap, you little, sh you know, and I, I try to be patient, but when I snap, it, it gets pretty ugly. <laughs> That's probably fighting a losing battle. You know, maybe it was a battle I shouldn't have been fighting at all. If, if the word crap is losing its vulgarity, it doesn't affect my life at all. You know, if all vulgar words lost their vulgarity, I, I would need to keep a checklist of what my kids and what their friends can't say around me. All right, so what makes the word crap vulgar? A lot of people think that crap and she are synonymous. That uh, they're both short words for uh, defecation. Both uh, she and crap have only one syllable. And defecate or defecation is not considered profane or vulgar because it has three syllables. Well, I think defecation is for defecation is for right. And since it's a longer word, it's considered more sophisticated and therefore not as crude. And I know that some forms of crap have more than one syllable. Like crappy is two syllables, but the root word is crap. And yeah, crap fest is two syllables, but the root word is still crap. Defecate is three syllables. So for some people, it's automatically more sophisticated and less vulgar than she or crap. It's not as crude. Now here's why the word crap isn't vulgar. The word crap, at least according to the dictionary, the Merriam-Webster dictionary, goes back all the way to medieval Latin, crapa. And supposedly old French converted it to uh, crape. It probably sounds more elegant if I'm saying it right. The French can take a crude word and make it sound good. In its original form, I guess crapa meant chaff, which is residue or, or waste. And, then, and that's not vulgar. And somewhere along the way, crap went from trash waste to human waste. And like I said, trash isn't vulgar. Chaff isn't vulgar. But for some people, the word crap is vulgar. And this is where she and crap are different. 
from what I've researched, I admit that I'm no linguist or etymologist, so I guess I could be wrong. Sheet has always meant defecate or defecation. And since one syllable words for body functions, I've, I've, I keep going over this, but some people don't quite get it. And you don't have to agree with it. I don't make the rules, all right? It's just that this is what some people believe. But the word crap originally meant residue or trash. And the original definition, as I understand it, had little or nothing to do with the body function. So maybe, just maybe, crap shouldn't be considered vulgar at all. I'd love to go back in time and say crap in front of my mom and then explain to her why it isn't vulgar, but uh, etymology or no etymology, I'd probably still get my mouth washed out. All right, so is crap vulgar or not? Now, I change my mind about things way more frequently than I used to. My mind used to be pretty much set when it came to politics, religion, and sports, but now it's easier to get new information, and, and uh, that new information sometimes has led me to be more willing to adjust my opinions rather than just doubling down on my first impressions that might be inaccurate or outright wrong. I rarely even discuss a lot of topics anymore because my, <laughs> my few friendships are way more important than my opinions, but I've recently changed my mind about the word crap. All my life, I've believed that crap was a mildly vulgar word, but since I've learned that it did not originally mean human waste or defecation, then there's no reason for it to be considered vulgar. Crap, I think it's a clean word. And I admit that I may have been wrong all these years, but I still think you have to be careful where you say it. All right, thanks for watching. If you disagree with me, leave your comments uh, below. And if you don't think any word should be a bad word, I understand that, but that's not what I'm talking about. But if you still want to leave a comment, that's okay. And remember to check out my uh, blog, Dysfunctional Literacy. All right. Thanks for watching.